Okay, we're back. <laughs> vlog me and Dylan are heading off today um, our flight is at 2 30 I just got back from breakfast with my good friend Natalie we went to Auntie Ruth's which is a local donut shop here I'd never been there before but it was delicious so I'll insert the clips from that okay we're here with Miss Natalie what did you get I got a cinnamon sugar pretzel yes don't come at me for eating this for breakfast, I had a coupon and it was free. Anything for the free. <laughs> and then I got a cinnamon sugar donut. So now that I'm back, I've just been getting my final packing done Ooh, for the trip. Hopefully that's under whatever the weight limit is. I don't even know anymore, but if it's not, I can just put some of my stuff in Dylan's carry-on. Must be nice to be a guy and only have to pack like two outfits for a 10 day trip. I'm about to go pick up Dylan to drive to my house, to drop off my car, and then my parents are giving us a ride to the airport. And yeah, I am so ready. This semester has been kicking my butt, so it's gonna be really nice to get away for spring break. But I'm not sure what this vlog is gonna look like. It might be one video, it might be multiple. Kind of depends on how much I feel like filming. But regardless, I am so excited and let's go. <laughs> We just landed. It is humid as can possibly be, but it feels great. Give me a second. Hello, welcome to Key freaking west. Me and Dylan got here a few days ago and to be honest I have been incredibly lazy with vlogging. So enjoy this 30 second montage of the very few clips that I got that kind of summarizes what we've done so far. Nice outfit. <laughs> How you doing? I said good. <laughs> Here. Ooh. Made with love. Dylan, how are we doing? Hey, okay. We just went out to the sandbar. I think I got burnt. <laughs> it was beautiful though, weren't it? I was scared of barracudas. I had to tug her all the way. He did. I was not wearing shoes and it was wrong. Dylan just broke my nail. I did not. <laughs> I had my hand on the wall like this. <laughs> and he goes to walk. Dylan straight. He goes to walk. I was just trying to walk. <laughs> Bends it. Breaks it clean off. So he went. No, it's not clean off. It's still. And got, yeah, clean off. And he got me this bottle <laughs> to file it down. And now he's eating cheese. You're welcome. Worthless. But we went to dinner at... Boat house. The boathouse. It was really good. It was very good. Ate on the water. It was gorgeous. Happy hour. We're thinking about booking a boat tour, which could be fun. 
A sandbar core. That's what I said. Very limited shark activity. No. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be an island. Island girl. I don't do sharks or chickens. So. That limits me, apparently. It limits you from the country and the ocean. <laughs> yeah, no, so that's, <laughs> we're done. I just need to stay in Tennessee. <laughs> Dylan's family really likes called Robert. So he's taking me to see Robert. Apparently it's tradition. It's been a fun trip so far. We went to a fancy little island yesterday that was beautiful. Had a nice little fancy lunch there. I'll insert some pictures here of that. And yeah, it, it's just been kind of a chill trip so far. That's been really nice. We've just made up some lunch. <laughs> So we're going to eat that and then do our tours. Also, the view from his grandparents' porch is unreal. I'll show you. Look at how pretty. Oh my word. Not a cloud in sight. There's Dylan. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Are you having a fun trip so far? I'm having a really good trip so far. What's been your favorite part? Um, Sunset Key. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm still waking up. It's like 11 o'clock. I oh, know. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day, huh? I hope so. Good day. Knuckles. All right, I just got ready outside, which is the best feeling when you're at the beach to just get ready on the porch. It's my absolute favorite. But I wanted to sit down for a second and kind of talk a little bit about why I haven't been vlogging the past few weeks and to also thank the people that have been so sweet in reaching out and being like, I've been waiting for your next vlog or like, I've been watching your vlogs and really enjoying them. That means literally more than you know. And I know it's so cheesy to be like, thank you to all the people out there, but it's literally like two people in my life that mean a lot to me that have been like your vlogs have made me really happy by watching them and that it's just the best feeling in the world because I don't really make these vlogs for anyone besides me so the fact that people are like <laughs> have been watching them and then also like waiting for the next one in anticipation is just the sweetest thing ever and I I'm just I think that's hilarious and awesome and it makes me so excited to film things like this so I really enjoyed it it's been a fun way to kind of record some memories for me but in saying that part of the reason that I haven't been vlogging is because nothing's really been happening in my life recently that I wanted to like document in vlog form nothing super entertaining or monumental has really happened and Part of that is because I've had a lot going on, just kind of a lot of different things that have impacted my mindset and have required a little bit more rest on my part. Um, stress management has kind of been the theme of my everyday life for the past few weeks. And because of that, I have been needing to take things really, really slow and spend some time alone and with God and learning how to get the help of those that are really really close to me so it's been school work and myself which has been nice and hard and lonely and great and i'm just really really grateful to be here right now in this time in my life where i just need to be alone so that was my dramatic little spiel i hope that that made sense i didn't want to go too in depth with it but that's a little bit on why i haven't been vlogging recently but we're 
in Key West and this is gonna be a great vlog that I cannot wait to watch back and I hope some people are excited to watch too so I am going to go check on Dylan and see if he's still alive and I guess we'll head out here in a minute but I really am appreciative of all the people that are watching and have been watching and will continue to watch hopefully fingers crossed so let's go All right, Dylan just <laughs> Dylan just barked the Tesla. That was an event. He got sticky stuff all over himself. He's having a moment, yeah. but it's okay because we made it. We're here to see Robert East Martello Robert. Museum. Oh gosh, that's Robert. Yep. That's terrifying. He did not tell me that it was gonna be scary. There's like a creepy doll at the entrance and like Ouija boards. Oh my gosh. Don't report him. You have to ask. I'm too scared. The walls of the fort range from five to 10 feet, feet thick are brought in from the Boston area to maintain the original style. Look, okay. I'm regretting everything right now. The Citadel Tower is known as the last bastion? Bastion? Okay, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. Never mind. Cut that out, okay. Retreat to the Citadel. Oh my God. I don't like it here. Yeah, but you can go upstairs. Right here, I think. Their shoes are making some weird noises. <laughs> They're squeaky. Oh my gosh! We're right next to the airport. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this view! Right? No, that's a plane. Oh, it's a boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. That's the Gulf. That's pretty cool. They're not the original cats. Yes, well, we've, like descendants. we've been here for like a total of five minutes and we've seen like 12 cats already. That's ridiculous. An official looking lady just told us there are 59 cats on this property. Oh, hey, one good Dylan's allergic to cats. That shows how much this cat must <laughs> mean to Snows of Kilimanjaro by him our freshman year. It's like one of the classes that we met in. And he wrote it here. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Okay, this is my official review of the tours. Robert is creepy. Hemingway House is gorgeous, but really, really crowded. Lots of cats. Lots of cats. And I got eaten alive at the Hemingway House by bugs. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, but overall, great experience. Actually, Cooper, Natalie's boyfriend, texted me on his way past. He was like, get me a cat at the Hemingway House. I was like, what? You're here? It's kind of funny. Had to be there, I guess. Now we're going to find a car wash and go get some groceries. The I'll most walk. stressful car I'll wash experience in. ever. This is scary. I'm never coming back. <laughs> got out of her car and came up to talk to us. Apparently Dylan was supposed to pay inside. Who knew? It had a swipe. She's like, what are you doing? I walked inside and I said, we got a problem out there. <laughs> and there was a line. I'm like, I got to get right there. And they're like, no. I'm like, I'm getting screamed at outside. You've got to get me in right now. And she's like, is it the car wash? She's like, oh, it's the car wash. And she's like, which package? Which? I was like, that one. <laughs> I just, she's like, Put it in. I just I slipped it in. She's like, go, go, go. Here we are. She's probably gonna beeping at us. Probably. She's probably gonna get out of her car and come in here. We're gonna see her in Publix, and there's gonna be a deli incident. 
It's not even hitting the car. We're paying for it's not even. It's why is it? It's a waste of 1997. It's not even touching the car. <laughs> it's it's just... not touching the car. <laughs> And so we're going to get sandwiches because his grandmother had a coupon from her women's club. Um, so we're going to go pick up those for lunch and pack them in the cooler. Oh, I'm so scared. <gasps> I'm so scared of chickens. And there's this mama with her chicks. I wish that that wasn't true that I'm no, terrified actually, of chickens. It's pretty embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. Well, it's just a little like... They're all over this island, so it just makes it a little difficult, is all. The sandwich place was closed. Dylan is very upset. It's pretty disappointing. But we are just going to get lunch on the beach, and it'll be fine. down more. There we go, Kate. We're in the trees. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, uh. I'm gonna record. I'm on the beach. <laughs> look at us. We look, like an, we look like an old money. We just hopped off our yacht. I am old money. We're about to go spend some hundred dollar bills. <laughs> okay, here is the lunch lineup. Sorry you're crooked. You're propped up on Dylan's chair. But we got a Cuban sandwich. A great view. An even better view. What is your lunch lineup? Avocado. I got the salsa edition. <laughs> Not recommended. So today is Thursday and we are about to hop on a boat and go on a little kayak tour of the mangroves and go to a sandbar to play, I guess. Dylan's parents went on this tour and they said it was really fun. So I'm very excited. I'm also burnt to a crisp from yesterday, like red. So I have been lathering on the aloe vera and me and Dylan went on a fort tour yesterday at the beach. I got eaten alive, like absolutely just bug bites all over. And <laughs> yesterday night I was walking up the stairs and just absolutely ate it at the top. Cut my knee, now it's all swollen and hurts really bad. So I'm just falling apart, you know, but that's part of vacation. There's always an injury. We persevere and I am not gonna let it ruin 
our day today. But let's go hop in a boat. <laughs> doing we got in one of these tandem kayaks and there's a little channel back there we went all the way through the mangroves that's just a sailboat that crashed from hurricane ian a few years ago which is so sad but it's gorgeous out here Each flag is a different letter. It's like the maritime flags or something. It's like Morse code, but which is pretty cool. Yeah. They, they represent a letter of the alphabet. Yeah. Whoa. There's also very strong. It's very strong. Tires. Rum runner. Oh. Margarita. Big old pancakes blueberry edition. And I just got a blueberry pancake a la carte. But I'm obsessed with this one. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> okay, we just got out of Blue Heaven. It was the like perfect breakfast ever. It was amazing. Shout out Lucy, bartend. She was great. She was the best got a t-shirt I'm very excited a blue heaven t-shirt so I can rep now we are walking to a bookstore because Dylan has decided he wants to become a reader so we're gonna find him a book for the beach I don't know about a reader but he wants I, to try and read I kind of want a beach book which is noble because he doesn't read no. like at all I did read Diary of a Wimpy Kid the full series but 10 years ago about 15. I'd say we can upgrade you here, but that's what we're doing now. Taking Miss Pally out on a walk in the sunset. 
It was gorgeous tonight. We had Italian no, my for dinner. Dylan. Oh, by the way, FYI. No, you didn't get the joke. Wait, what? You said sunset's gorgeous. I said no, my name's Dylan. <laughs> Good morning. We have our 5K this morning. It is about 6 o'clock, and I'm going to get ready, and we're going to head down to Duval Street and sign it. Oh, I'm so tired, but it'll be worth it. It's going to be great. Okay, here is the 5K outfit. I have on my Blue Heaven shirt that I got yesterday. I just tucked it in. And these green shorts because it's an Irish Kevin's 5K for St. Patrick's Day. My ASIC shoes. And I'm munching down on a lemon protein bar. Alright, we're walking. To I got Irish a cramp. Kevin's. Oh. oh, God. Just from walking? Yep. Show your running fit. Dylan. This is from Pop Up from Margaritaville. Um, the underwear. No, don't tell me if your underwear is from. American Eagle. Shorts. Shorts are from Amazon.com, my favorite shopping store. And what running shoes do you have today? Uh, I have Nikes with no laces, so this could go real bad. Oh. We got ourselves a little breakfast at the buffet. We got some potatoes, sausage, bacon, fruit, muffin, water. <laughs> oh my gosh. I handmade it lunch. right from the Italian restaurant. <laughs> All right, we're back from the race. I took about an hour long nap because I was exhausted and we had planned to go to the beach later but we're both so tired that we're thinking we might just do another pool day. I've been reading Happy Place. I just started it. It's pretty good so far. I'm impressed with like the language. The author seems to be really good at painting pictures and stuff. I feel like I'm there which I really love in a book. So Dylan just brought me lunch, some leftover Italian from last night. I think tonight we're wanting to go out. So that should be fun too. Come on, Tomorrow our flight is at like 7 a.m. So last night was so much fun. We ended up going out and listening to some live music at some different places. It was so much fun. And then we came back here and just kind of fell asleep because it was late and we were both exhausted. And then this morning I just woke up and have been reading Happy Place, which is amazing. I feel like the way that I would describe it is <laughs> this book is for the Pinterest girlies that make a Pinterest board for everything, like every event in their life, because Emily Henry is just so good at painting pictures. I literally feel like I'm there, which is, I, I, I love it. I'm eating a cookie for breakfast. Um, don't judge me, but these cookies are from the hotel next to Dylan's grandparents' complex. They just like give out free cookies. And so sometimes we stop in and have been uh, borrowing a few cookies. I think we are going to head to the dock at like noon for some snorkeling today. So that's how we're spending our last day. A little slow morning, snorkeling, and then probably a lot of packing and just getting ready for our flight out tomorrow. But let's go get our day started. I'm gonna actually keep eating this cookie, but 
let's go get the day started for you guys watching. I'm from Atlanta, GA. Every kid, every knows his name.